Yeah, so we just talked with Joe Burrow a bit ago and players inside the locker room, and yes, they understand that they have not won at Cleveland since 2017. Joe Burrow talked about that urgency in all these games. He said, look, it'd be great to be 6-0, and hmm. but here we are at 2-4, and four, and every game feels like it carries extra meaning right now. Urgency in the building, Joe Burrow said, we cannot waste any plays in a game like this. Let's take you out to the practice field. I want to see this video because, listen, it's mid-50s in Cincinnati, and you see guys like Jamar Chase wearing a hoodie, there are other players who play college football in the South who are wearing snow hats and winter hats. Guys, it's mid-50s in October, but I guess you got to be comfortable out there on the practice field. Look, the Bengals are in good shape with their health. Outside of Dax Hill, who is out for the season, the rest of the team feels like it's ready to go Sunday in Cleveland for what is a big game. In fact, Zach Taylor was asked today, does he need to say anything to the team ahead of the game in Cleveland? He's like, I think we all understand what our record has been since he took the job here in Cincinnati. So here is Joe Burrow after Jeremy Rao asked him a question about what it takes to win in the AFC North. It takes consistency. Um, you know, when you're at the halfway point, pretty much everybody is around 500. And, you know, that this divisions and championships aren't won. And, September, October, they're one in December and January. So, you know, you got to find your footing and, you know, see how the the landscape is playing out early. And, you know, you got to hit your stride at a certain point and, and rattle off some wins. So we're hoping that that's, that's us right now. So we talked to Sam Hubbard earlier in the week. And, look, Sam Hubbard has been there for the entire losing streak that the Bengals have had right now in Cleveland. He hinted that there was a conversation had amongst the players on Monday going back to the team meeting about this game in Cleveland. He stopped himself from giving away too much information, but I think the fan base that is frustrated with the way the team has played in Cleveland, I think the team feels that, mm -hmm. they understand that, and I think they're taking care of that this week. We have heard that Nick Chubb, the Brown star running back, is expected to play in return on Sunday, but of course... Amari Cooper, one of their star receivers, is now in Buffalo. So the Browns offense, who has been struggling, has not been great and just lost Amari Cooper. Yes, the Bengals need to get that run going, have to get a win on Sunday in Cleveland. Live inside Paycor Stadium, Joe Daneman, Jeremy Rao, back to you. Yeah, the Browns always seem to be a team that the Bengals can't take for granted. Uh, do you guys think that that makes them more dangerous going into this weekend, their losing record at this point? Well, I think you have to understand what Nick Chubb means, not only to that team, but the entire city. In fact, he wrote a long essay today that was published that I'm sure every Browns fan has read at this point. That's going to spark this team. I think everybody inside this building understands that. But this Browns team has been so anemic offensively. I'm not sure even the presence of him can get them to the point where they can outscore the Bengals. The Browns haven't scored mm -hmm. 20 points in a game all season, the only team in the NFL. That's why, to me, if the Bengals can get to that number, which they should be able to, yeah. even though the Browns are great defensively, they win this game. Joe Burrow hinting it could be another ugly kind of win. Mm -hmm. He kind of talked about Sunday night's game against the Giants and said this one could be similar, but again, they won by 10 in that game. So just win and move on, baby. Megan? Yeah, win's a win. All right, thanks so much, guys. And as I just said,